Good morning, YouTube. Hey, I don't know how this video is going to go together. I think I have some video that I haven't put in yet, so I'll put that in. And then I'm going to continue tabbing. Uh, I haven't worked on this for a couple weeks, so you have to forgive me. I uh, had a buddy in town for a couple weeks. We worked on his farm. I finished the rock wall down there. I've helped a lady take out a tree. I've helped another lady paint her barn. Done a lot of things. Anyway, so I'm just going to get into this. We're going to start tabbing both sides of the stringers. I think I have a little uh, sanding down to do uh, for the thickened resin that I put in. Uh, I think I slopped some here and there, maybe. And I need to check for that and smooth, make sure it's all smooth. But after I do that, we'll do those tabbings this morning. Uh, hope to start on the inside, tab that out, and then do the outside and tab that out. Um, that's that'll probably be it for today. But it's been so hot, it's like 90 something degrees uh, every day here. So hopefully it's nice and cool this morning. We'll get this on, get this done, and get out of here before it gets too hot. So that's the plan. Stick with me. Welcome to my life. All right, sometime last week I had to get the vacuum cleaner out. Man, if the thing didn't just bust open and spill everywhere. I don't like this vacuum. These things, I don't know, man. It's like they don't clip good enough on this shout back. And it always dumps, drives me freaking crazy. I mean, it just constantly does it where it falls off. And I always try to, try to check them and always, I don't know. Anyway, I don't like that. They should make those things so they clip tight, but maybe mine's just bad or something i don't know but anyway i need to clean up in here so i'm gonna do that and uh, get all this mess taken care of and then i'll get busy yeah let me get going So we're back in here. So I definitely could have done a better job. I thought it was being neat, honestly. Uh, but it wasn't very neat. So, but I need to pull the screws and I'll measure the corners. I think one of the things I'd do different is I would leave this wet. It's still it's still not hard, right? I think I would have left, I think I would have immediately tabbed over after a couple, you know, a couple hours, I would have tabbed over that already. That's probably what I'll do next time. I actually thought I was pretty neat, you know, I thought I actually did a good job, but looking at it now, I, I could have done better for sure. I think the uh, putting it in a bag and then piping it kind of would probably help out, making it better. Um, I don't know. I'll try that next time. But this is what I got right now, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut my tabbing. Uh, just, well, I just did an acetone bath that you guys didn't see, but basically I wiped it down with acetone. Uh, some people were used acetone. I, I like acetone. It uh, makes the top surface stick again for me. But uh, I'll get my uh, fiberglass cut and we'll get tabbing. that should be all my tabbing ready to go I just need to fix up my resin and then put it in I know this is not gonna be easy on the back side the front side will be easy the back side is not gonna be easy at all we'll get it though that's gonna be one of those things just gotta work it hope for the best I don't think it's gonna be too bad 
It's just hard to reset in that corner. We'll get it done. So let me get some uh, resin and get a little organized here and we'll get after it. So do you believe I've been doing this for a year? There's one good thing about my channel. It's hopefully that people realize that the people that do this spend a lot of time doing it. When I first got the boat, I was like, eh, no big deal, a couple days. And here we are. I think I'm going to try to do that one first, which is not what I was going to do. What? So that's what I'm going to do. going to be the hardest one. <laughs> There's a way that I can get around here. There you can see.
so you're going to be able to see that other side so don't yell at me too bad because i can't see it i'll see it on the video for the first time when i go look at it so we got both sides tapped in i'm pretty happy that's a pretty good result even though it's kind of been a weird morning but i was uh rolling the crap out of this thinking i was got air under it but it's not air it's actually the color of the dried stuff underneath there which kept making me think it was air so i kept rolling kept rolling kept rolling actually that that's air i gotta get that that is air all right that's better that's better so yeah um it looks pretty good to me we'll see when it dries it always looks very different when it dries to me we'll see when it dries but uh i'm pretty happy with that so that'll be it for now boy doing the back side of this is terrible this is terrible who thought that was gonna be a good idea you got with me i'm gonna let rid of some of this corner again just take a little bit extra won't hurt it cleaned up oh. so I had to get out of the fumes a uh, little more than normal because when I was trying to look over the thing I kept bumping my mask you know um, went pretty well I think the inside you know I couldn't see it you're gonna see better than me um, it'll be interesting to see how that comes out of course I said that in there I just don't know if you can hear me um, the outside came out fine I kept rolling it because I kept thinking that I had bubbles in it but it was actually the white stuff underneath was showing through the the uh, dried fiberglass you know that was from the when I did the um, thickened resin and it was showing through so i kept trying to get that white out and thinking it was air and it wasn't air i just couldn't see that well um it was just that white stuff showing through um so pretty happy with the outside for sure the inside i think i'm happy with again you guys are gonna know better than me um, i'm gonna let that set up you know i think i'm gonna wait four hours i think i'll see what the temperature is and then maybe i'll put the the next one on there the next fiberglass on there not 100 sure yet hey youtube good morning hey this morning's goal is to get another set of tabs in uh, the bigger ones, you know, had, we'll work on those and get those in this morning. Uh, yesterday afternoon, I ended up, after I did the smaller tabs, I ended up going helping a lady uh, paint her building. So I'll show you that real quick. And then we'll get back and start putting those tabs in. All right, this is another project I've been working on, just so you can kind of see what I do throughout the week. Uh, I, I uh, primed this out. It was It's hardy board on the top. The Neighborhood Association made her do this. This is a little building down by the lake. You're about halfway down the lake, I guess. And uh, so it was hardy board. The hardy board started peeling off. It's terrible when in the moisture or whatever. Uh, so I primed it all yesterday. Uh, and today I've just got to put the final coat of paint back on it. But uh, yeah, just another one of the things I'm doing. All right, let's get to work.
All right, so I got those cut out. I think the best thing to do is do the back side of that front first and then do the long one and then do this one. I think I need to cut a corner off both those though before I do it because last time I was fighting that where I was trying to get it to go down and then it's going up. So I'm gonna cut a corner because this is the tab going this way, not this way, right? So I'm gonna cut the corner off of it, I think. I wonder if I get that delay, I don't really know. I may put a slice in it instead of a corner. And that way I can fold it both ways. That probably is the wiser thing to do. We're going in.
It's like I let my frustration level come down just a notch. Oh, that was frustrating. All right, so that was just downright miserable. That one corner piece, I just can't get it in there. Even the other side was tough to do on the side that I could actually get both hands on. Um, so I'm probably gonna let that dry up and then uh, I'll probably do tabs and pieces. I mean, I hate that, but um, you know, I've kind of put myself in this position because I didn't take the top off, right? Um, still glad I did it the way I did it though, honestly. Uh, it is tough on that back side. Uh, we're almost there on that piece and then there's only the other side that one piece on the other side uh, The other ones would be easy to get to because they don't go up very high So we just got to get past this right? Uh, it was frustrating. I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. I was totally frustrated <laughs> But I just kept telling myself patience patience, you know Patience grasshopper patience. So I had a lot of flaps on the ends of these this one for some reason um, I don't know if it's the way I maybe I pulled it when I cut it or what made it do that um I'm sure you guys know, so let me know. Uh, that was kind of frustrating, uh, really frustrating. I have, had to keep getting the scissors in there and cut them and then flap them down. And boy, they would really overlap when I do that too. Um, 
but I got past that. I'm gonna step away from here. It's whew, fumes even stand there, uh, it, and it's really fumey in that cabin. I mean, I'm not. It's just tough to get good air, so I need to step away for a while before I even mess with it. Um, I do want to go back in there. I'm gonna put my mask on and go back in there. I need to get those tubes out uh, because I'm going to go see Patriot Marine Fabrication there, uh, Paul, and uh, uh, pick up my tank this week. Uh, they're making it right now. Um, and so uh, on Monday, I'll uh, start my trip up there and uh, you guys can see them build my tank as I, as I head that way. And then I'll pick it up, check out their shop, look at their local area and then come back. But it uh, should be a good trip, boys. It's gonna be some long hours. I think it's 14, 13 something up there and 13 back, I'm not even sure. 12, maybe it's 12. Yeah, I guess it's 12 something, 12 and a half hours plus then by the time I feed my dad in the morning and afternoon, he's gonna go with me. Uh, yeah, it'll be, it'll be 13, 14 hour trip days, but uh, might, maybe I'll break the trip up on the way back, but um, it's pretty cool. He, it, uh, Patriot Marine for applications up there by Long Beach uh, in that in that vicinity. So um, yeah, that'll be that'll be Monday. So uh, in the meantime, I got to get this those fuel lines back out so that I can get those back to Paul because I'm going <laughs> to give them back to him and then either buy new fuel lines or whatever the deal will be. But uh, yeah, so I got to get back in there get those fuel lines out and then I think that's gonna be it for this week um, and then I'll see you well I'll be talking to you on Monday but uh, that'll be week after next video anyway I don't have a video for the so I have one for Friday and then this will be the next Friday I don't have one for that following week when I return so it'll be interesting to see what you see that week <laughs> all right um, I think that's about it let me get these fuel lines out That's good. I can get that uh, fuel line back to Paul next week. Just gonna load that up in big blue there because I'm taking taking big blue. Yeah, I need to make sure that tank will fit in the back of that, by the way. That's something I need to check on. All right, so tank. I don't know what my between thing will do on this. I assume four feet. Fifty one, fifty and a half. Fifty and a half. A six foot three. Fifty and a half. Fifty and a half. I don't remember how big how wide the fuel tanks were. I don't think they're that big now. They might have been bigger. I don't know. Guess we'll find out. I need to weed eat my hill here, don't I? We just had a huge, huge rain. The lake flooded again. Oh man. Oh, it's a watch out. I'll need to come down here and work on that a little bit later. So I'm thinking with these. So I think my max is 21 inches. 21. 21. 41. Yeah, this other tank will be way longer, but it'll fit. So, 21 is my height that I need to see if I need to take my bed cover off. Nothing to see here but a bunch of weed eating that needs to be done. I get my workout walking them down this hill.
All right, so 21, that thing will just barely sit up. And it's only in a couple places, so I'll put that on the end here and I'll leave that up just a little bit. But I can leave the topper on, that's good. And then I'll just have to grab some straps. Okay, so if it's less than six foot something, it'll uh, fit in the back. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. All right, well, let me uh, go get the boat shut down, get that hose out of there, get that in the truck so I don't forget it, and uh, clean up. All right, so I got it all cleaned up and I got myself cleaned up too. Woo, I smell a lot better. <laughs> Thank goodness for resin, right? It covers the smell when you're out there. Anyway, uh, I digress. Hey, uh, I hope you had a great 4th of July weekend. I know me and my family did. Uh, thanks to a friend of ours, Paw Paw Turner, uh, we got the Toyota box at the Cincinnati Reds game in Cincinnati. And I just wanted to share some of the highlights with you of that. Roll tape. So the Reds won, the game is over. What a great game, what a great day. It's a good time, we're hanging out, everybody's leaving. We're hanging out in the suite. It's good to be shot slide. Uh, I'm just kidding, it ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm just kind of lucky you got to be here. <laughs> so, hey, thanks for joining me. It's been a good day. Uh, I'll get back on the boat and I'll see you next week.